Hey everyone, DFA here, welcome back to the channel. And yeah, I actually did manage to pull one of these Spanish heavy cruisers during the last event with my account actually for free. And yeah, in the next free pull, I did manage to get the legendary commander. And I wanted to see what these things are actually worth and use to play them with my press account. But just to get them in the absolute best configuration. And spoiler alert, yeah, it wasn't really good, I'm afraid. Let's take a look at that thing in the that seat first. And so I got the tier 9 on the Lucia and you see it next to a couple of other tier 9 heavy cruisers. And yeah, in terms of skills, you get 3 sonar charges, that's good, 3 AA charges, that's good, 2 scout planes too, that's good, and something new, the burst fire. Essentially, it lets you fire 2 salvos uh, in a space of 2 seconds, but you get a 26 second reload penalty after that. We'll talk more about that in the game. Let's talk about the Anda Lucia survival. Survivability, it's actually not that good. The stats are a bit misleading here. It's <laughs> Yeah, it, it's going to take full pain from every single thing it meets, probably closer to the Japanese. Their concealment, yeah, it's not really Japanese, unfortunately, it's a pretty big target. Uh, in terms of speed, that's actually a pretty decent, a pretty fast heavy cruiser on par with the Donskoy here, accelerates also very nice, but it turns like a brick, so that's something that you have to improve with your equipment setup. And now we go to the guns, 9234 mm guns that fire every 12 seconds and so that's the first issue with the ship your he dpm it's actually worse than the german cruiser the Rhone. so he it's really not an option with that thing you do get a decent fire chance but the damage output is just so low that yeah uh, it's not going to be worth it eventually and the ap is not much better at 46,000. just to put things in perspective yeah the road gets 53,000 baltimore and the yeah, Donskoy are all above 50,000 and they all have an option to actually increase that damage precise and more rapid reload. Andalusia does not have that. Yeah, surely it must have a good range, absolutely not as well. Less than 12 kilometers, that kind of Japanese heavy cruiser territory. So you do get a scout plane to increase it, but yeah, it's not going to help you a lot. We only get two of them. And yeah, luckily enough, the turret traverse is actually pretty decent and you can increase it with your choice of elite bonus. No secondaries, no auto secondaries, decent torpedoes, range of 10 kilometers, four of them 14,000 damage. That's pretty decent actually. Um, <coughs> Yeah, they do get forever to get on target, but yeah, that, that's kind of expected uh, from a cruiser. And so, yeah, if you look at the thing, DPM, it's not good. Uh, yeah, it, it's really, really poor. And yeah, the AA, it's the worst at the tier. Yeah, you get AA too, but honestly, it's, it's really not going to do much to improve it. Um, <clears throat> it's not a great ship at all on paper. And so, yeah, what is it like in a real battle? Well, yeah, that I played around 15 of them, and this is one of my best ones probably the one where I make the most use of the features of the ship. But before we start, can we take a look at the ugliness of the historical camo? It's, it's just a dumb <laughs> Spanish flag on the side of the ship. Yeah, <laughs> good job. <laughs> <laughs> really good job. <laughs> so yeah, it's a heavy cruiser that you have to play at range. It's an AP cruiser that you have to play at range and it's a pure support ship. So the first thing you do is you look for a position where you can either uh, hide behind other ships or run away as quickly as possible and hide behind the terrain. Yeah, because make no mistakes, any initiative with that thing is going to get you killed no matter what you do. And again, keep in mind you are seeing it with the uh, premium consumables with the level 12 legendary commander with APCS plus. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of the best performance that you can hope to get from that ship. And so we have the heavy cruiser position. We do let that bot battleship get in front of us and you do score a couple of nice hits on that mansion because those will be your priority targets. Uh, other teams, cruisers or heavy cruisers, you see that the torpedoes, despite having a super long range, they do take forever to get 
get <laughs> to get to their target. So yeah, uh, you really have to have a very very gullible ship to be using them. So let's take a look about that burst fire. That's a really really good use case there. I'm using it, firing two salvos because I know that I'm going to hide and get away, and I will not need to be firing my gun in the next 20 seconds. So it's actually a very very interesting feature and I really like that Wargaming is adding those new things into the game but you really have to do not use it as a standard option because you, your DPM is already atrocious and you get penalized even more if you use that. So you typically use it before you're going to disappear or before yeah, when you think that you can actually finish an enemy ship before it, you want him to fire at you. So yeah. Um, uh, really, really, you have to pick your battles with that uh, burst fire, but it's a really, really nice addition to the game. You just need to have a good ship to carry it. Uh, so we're going to take our heavy cruiser position behind the Yamato in the middle, uh, because we want to make sure that we are not targeted. Your protection is paper, your armor are your hit points. <laughs> I'm really worried about that Colombo, because if he decides to fire at me, I'm going to get screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm rushing to get behind that Yamato as quickly as I can, and that's actually good news, the speed with that thing is pretty decent as we have seen. So that Colombo is getting into, uh, <coughs> is getting behind the island there. Yeah, you see that I activate my AA, but yeah, um, not super, super useful, I'm afraid. That would be a good use case to use the burst fire, but I decide not to do it because I see that Menchong that's actually trying to YOLO, and that's a pretty, pretty good thing for us because that is one of our preferred targets when you look at the enemy team. I could focus on that DD, but yeah, with my big H, my big AP shells, I'm just going to overpen it. So yeah, it, it's not super, super good against the DDs as well. Okay, you get the sonar, you can actually detect torpedoes, but it's pretty frustrating because you're kind of never really in a position to be useful to your team when you activate it. You're always going to be camping behind an island or behind one of your ships. You're never going to go frontline with that thing because that will get you killed almost all the time. So it's a really, really poor heavy cruiser. And yeah, indeed, I do get a couple of salvos. A couple of <gasps> wow, that was a salvo from that Colombo, and you see that. <laughs> it's good it was not firing sap. Yeah, because it basically removed <laughs> almost two thirds of my hit points, and if it had been firing sap, <laughs> I would not be left with anything. <laughs> So yeah, because that thing is just super, super weak. You really have to you make one mistake and you're going to pay for it very, very dearly. I'm really lucky as well that the enemy CV is kind of leaving me alone and focusing the Yamato behind me. So I'm really using that island to get protection and to really focus that mention while he's actually trying to... I'm not sure what he's trying to do, to be honest, but yeah, you really have to count on enemy ships making a mistake with that thing. And yeah, uh, I'm actually looking at the minimap and I have a battleship pushing to the left. Uh, it could be one of the bots, I'm not sure. The Colombo is uh, probably a one shot if I activate the burst fire. So I'm going to YOLO the Malta. Uh, I have 20,000 health, so I sh yeah, I'm using my scout plane to actually see what I'm aiming at, and those kind of CVs, that's kind of one of your preferred targets there, because yeah, that's where your guns are actually going to shine. So I'm hoping that that Colombo does not shoot at me with it. I'm still using AP, that's good, I get lucky there, I get punished immediately, but we do manage to finish him, so that's pretty, pretty good. And so yeah, the ship is actually pretty decent at relocating. You do get a pretty nice top speed, so when you can exploit those opportunities, but just be aware that doing so in the <laughs> before the last two minutes of any game will, no matter what you do, get you killed. Because paper armor, absolutely awful concealment, and pretty poor DPM that you cannot increase no matter what. It's not good. And so now it's time to deal with the last ship on the enemy team. The game is actually not really over because it's chasing my CV and my CV it's not in a great position to run away there. So if he manages to YOLO it and put his torpedoes on target I will be losing on points. 
But yeah, uh, I'm going to make use of the burst salvo functionality to actually be uh, deleting it at the last minute of the last second of the game. So yeah, that's one of the features of that thing. Do not use it now. Keep your poor DPM relatively intact and only use it when the enemy target is going to disappear and you know you will not be in a position to get a second salvo in the um, next 25 or 26 seconds so that's what i'm going to do not now not now i'm still using my regular thing and i know the next salvo will be a burst fire one and that's so we are going to be finishing that mansion so andalusia it's a pretty poor ship jesus christ 15 battles not a single mvp that was kind of yeah all, all of them half and cheese and that's with the level 12 apcs plus legendary commander so yeah so it's kind of the best performance that you can hope to get from this one and it's still pretty mediocre if I'm honest. So it's a pretty poor tier 9 but the other ones were not much better. So yeah that line it has a really funny burst fire mechanic. It's super great where gaming is introducing that into the game but otherwise they really need improvements to be feasible, to be workable. And that's kind of like every single heavy cruiser line that been released over the last years, right? They get buffed a couple of times and then they become viable. Until then, stay safe, stay away from these, and we will talk about them again once they become a little bit better. That's it, bye bye, see you soon, ciao.